Okay, we've got our puppet bodies finished now. Got this beautiful one here that I made. <clears throat> can come right up in the back real nice. Just finish stitching up and finish the other one. And get that little dip in the back. It just allows that hand, allows it to rest on the arm. If you're doing ventriloquism work, you want that. You can do it straight up puppet release. It doesn't hurt. So that's got my two bodies done. I got to move that is. That is so perfect. That is so perfect. And part of the secret for me is to put the fleece on before I glue the body together, as I've shown you. Now, the next step is our necks. I'm going to measure the of our bodies. This one, nine inches. This one, smart. Seven in the back, but you want what you want. In the front, we're still at nine inches. That's a good good length. And consider the size of my size of my forearm here is eleven. So you don't want the body coming down too far. Now with the head, with the neck, use the neck start with the neck. One thing you don't want to do with the neck is you don't want to glue it here, here, and here. If you go all the way around the edge of that foam, what's going to happen is you're going to be coming back in at an angle. What you want to do is you're going to, we're going to measure the width of the mouth and this part, and our neck will drape down flat. Our neck will drape flat over the lower part of the mouth. There. It just hangs flat. We don't want to hang flat here. Then we have to cut out a hole for our thumb. But we don't want a tube coming out the back. We want to hang. We want this to drape. We want this to drop flat. So I'll be cut. I'll be measuring. I measure the width of the mouth, which is five inches, and I'm going to measure around the back of the head, which is eight inches. So I've got thirteen inches. I'm going to need a 13 inch tube and that tube will hang flat. 13 inch tube for this one. This one being the same pattern you think would be the same. But I'm going to double check. i got 5 inches of course. And same off plate. And 7, 8, 12. So they're both going to work out the same 13 inches. Same pattern, but I always double check because I don't want too loose of a neck. So, the next step would be to go to my fleece, cut me some 13 inch tubes. How long? Ah. Nope. I'm going to want this nine, what did I say here, nine inches? nine inches, then the neck's going to need to come up, the head's going to be up above, about six inches, so that's fifteen inches, I'll make my neck probably eighteen inches long, and I can trim off at the bottom, because the neck is not attached to the top of the head, we don't attach straight from body to the, to the head. Although you can, you'll lose some motion. Most professional puppets, they attach them here at the bottom, that tube goes straight up through the middle. So we're looking at a 13 inch uh, tube, about 18 inches long. I'm going to make two of those. Go over to my other table where I can cut my fleece. Okay, I got my two neck tubes sewn, 13 inches around and at least 18 inches long. Next step is to put the neck on to the puppet. Got a seam in the back, which will go in the back. 
what I want to do is line up that front center first. If there's any bunching, sometimes there's a little bit of bunching. I want that in the back, not in the front. It won't be seen, get it covered with hair. I'm going to glue right above the thumb tube, right along the top of that mouth plate. Because, as I mentioned, our neck tube will hang down. It'll hang down flat. So you're going to get a good angle on that. The neck tube will hang down, it'll hang straight. Okay, we don't want it shooting out the back at an angle. Right, the easiest way to do this, our old friend hot glue. Right along the top of that mouth plate. Center that up. There we go. Now with the neck tube, that's what most important is my stretch. My stretch goes across the tube. Right, I got a good stretch here across the tube, not the length. The length doesn't have much stretch. If you have the strength going, let the stretch going lengthwise, you could end up with what we call a giraffe neck. And over time, that neck will, because of gravity, will stretch out and stretch out. And it doesn't look so good. Okay, I've got that. This is looking good. I'm going to bring right on the inside edge here. Do the fleece to fleece. I don't want it right out on the edge. Because what we want to do is once we get this hot glue, come in later, you want to stitch right along this edge. And it's hard to stitch if you've got glue, hot glue right on the edge. So we don't want hot glue on the edge. We want the hot glue inside on the inside edge. Up there for us. Get this down the corner here. We're right around on the inside edge here again. Side edge of the fleece. That allows us, as I said, to stitch here. And by stitching along here, it'll give us a nice clean edge. Should look nice. It also gives us some strength. So I'm going to do is take an Take my thread and stitch right along the back of the head, stitch that up nice and strong. Now you'll notice right now we have a, our neck tube is hanging. It's hanging straight down, just how we want it. Straight down. I want it to hang straight down just like that. And as I mentioned, and you should figure out, this is going to cover up the thumb tube. Care. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hot glue here. Let's find my disappearing ink pen. Okay, disappearing ink pen. So just underneath. Uh, 
That's where I want the hot glue. Do that line underneath the mouth a little bit, not right on the outside edge of the mouth. We want the glue underneath a little bit. Come back up inside. Get this to lay flat there. It's laying on nice. There we go. It's looking good in back. We have a little, well, we're heavy bunching. That's good. Sometimes you get a little bit of bunching. If you have bunching, you want it in the back, of course. If your measurements are good, you shouldn't have much bunching. And again, because it glues back there, I can stitch again. I can stitch right along this line. So I got that hanging. There we go. Got that neck hanging straight down. Now the next problem is, we can't use the thumb hole, because we have cloth in front of the thumb hole. So what do we do? Roll this up. Here we go, get inside. There's my thumb hole right there. I'm going to take a razor blade. Right where that thumb hole is. Try and cut a little hole enough where I can start my scissors. And try to cut around that hole. I'm going to try to get a little bit of hot glue there on the edge. Put my fingers good. Get that fleece right around that hole. You can't see. I can barely see. And now, put this baby on. And it's, it's too long right now. It's okay. I made it too long on purpose. I'll be cutting this when I put it on the body. And there we go. There's our head. There's our neck. Looking good. Hi, right, how are you? Got my thumb in the thumb hole now. It's hanging. How's it hanging? It's hanging nice and straight down. It's hanging straight down. It's not a tube coming out the back. Hanging straight down. There we go. So that's nice. That's real nice that way. Not too removed from my arm. And uh, two bodies. Which body do I want to use with this fella? Well, this one's actually a tad smaller. I'm going to use this one. So what will happen is what I do now is put my hand put my head in here. I want to figure out where I want the neck. How long do I want the neck? That is the question. How long do I want the neck? I'm going to mark it, mark it right where I think the length is right. Okay, got this guy. I think this, I think this is about right, right here, right there. Mark that. Mark that right there. 
That's where I want the neck. Usually that's the neck room. Is that's that's a good length right there, right to the. Well, I got one problem. I got body on backwards. <laughs> okay, don't have your body on backwards. Back seam, back seam, all lined up. There's my mark. Let's see now. I'm going to get him. That's the way I want him. I'm going to take him off. I'm looking at him off screen. I'm trying to get the height. And I like it right there. Right there. I'll put my mark here. Okay, that should disappear in time. I need it on there for a moment. The thing is, we're not attaching it here. We're attaching it down here at the bottom. Just roll around and roll it up. So we're actually going to be attaching it at the bottom of the puppet, not the top. Even though I marked the height where I want it, we're attaching down here. We'll start in the front middle. Just one dab of glue. Got him where I want him. Got that little dart in the front. Look at that. that dart's almost in invisible there. And right in the middle of the back, seam to seam. Go. We got a little problem. We don't need all this neck down here. I'll come over here and tap edge. Tack it over here. Mmm, hot glue. And if you're wondering why they call it hot glue, you burn this up a couple times and you know. Once I get this glued on, one, I'm kind of leaving, again, I'm leaving room for I can stitch. I'm going to stitch around here. But the glue holds it in place. A lot easier than trying to pin it and stitch it, glue it and stitch it. This will be getting trimmed out. All the way around there real good. Bring this up and stitch it. You can't bring it up and just glue it. You can glue it or you can stitch it. And it's going to be covered with the costume. But the stitching will give you extra strength. That's one of those things you have to decide.
when I was using it in the production, I would definitely stitch it. Because you want it to be hardy and last and strong. You know, using it just temporarily, just using it for decoration, just using it for fun. Glue might be good enough. Depends on how much use you plan on giving it. And what kind of use. that glue down there good. Now I'm going to take my sharp scissors and I want to leave enough for it to roll up. Start about here. We give about three quarters of an inch All the way around. All the way around. And now, so this is going to be stitched or glued, but we have a head and a neck and body. We are getting there. Let's see if I can get this camera angle. Here. here I am. Here he is. Here we can see. Still can't get used to where that camera is. There we go. So I got that length. Got plenty of room here for his neck. Lots of movement. Glued here at the bottom. Now it's glued at the bottom. And that can be stitched in. But we got what's starting to look like a puppet. Hi, how are you? I'm doing pretty good myself. Starting to come together. So there we go. There's our first one. With the second puppet, we'll do the exact same thing with him. That's good. I need that. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So there's no such repeating that. So, hope that helps. Our next step, actually, I'll try with this, with this puppet we're working on here. The next step will be his, his facial features, his ears, his hair. I'm actually going to put all that on before I, but then I'm going to go to the arms and the hands and the legs. You can do it in any order you want. A lot of times I'll put the features on before I put the, attach it to the body. What I won't do though is I won't put, I'll put the neck. I always put the neck on. I always put the neck on before I put on the features because that way when I'm doodling and diddling, I'm not going to mess things up on him. So we look for that in the next class. 